the house has to be Instagrammable. <laughs> But at the same time, it like has to be functional and to build it around the character of ours. Hey, hey! Come on in. Welcome to our HDB home. My name is Noel. This is my personal chef, Min. Hi, welcome to my kitchen, the heart of the house. Kitchen is important because that's where I learned my cooking from my late grandmas, my mother. This is where I do my uh, research and development, food testing, where creativity falls in place here. This is the place that all the magic happens. I think people will gravitate yeah. to this side of the house more because people can sense the aura. Uh, she definitely helped me with eating. <laughs> I will help to do serving and stuff as well as cleaning, okay? Like, you know, pizza and anything. <laughs> Sorry. We had fun doing this place. It feels like a more of a safe house. Almost half of that 13 IDs actually rejected us because they think that it's not possible to do a house like this. Another half just didn't understand what we were talking about. And until we met Watson and Shalene, our ID for this very unique house they immediately get what we are going for. Mad people need to stick together. Yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aside from designing a house, then eventually becoming friends, I guess uh, that's, that's the bonus. Uh. We do this quite often. We always have friends coming over. If you look at this table, it's longer than the usual so that we can customize to have like more friends over. I mean, of course, this is before COVID. Mm. <laughs> Why Tampines? You can get all the good food here. Isa like is the coolest of all. The funny thing is, throughout this whole renovation, we're constantly coming here. That's where, like, you know, we spend some of the time downstairs, a small little coffee shop, kind of like chance into this opportunity of setting out our own little, like, burger joint. And then there, the social outcast just born, like, just like that, just because of this house. He used to be a lecturer and then next thing you know, he gave up that 8 to 5 job. You know, we move on to like small little store into a bigger place right now. It's a very funny story how one thing leads to another. Our brand is inspired by the house itself. It's more underdog. Yeah. I mean, if you see behind me, like, seriously, who in the right mind would have a vending machine door? Check this out. The, the function is to have a hidden... Like a cover-up, yeah. like a semi speak easy but to the restroom kind of thing. While dreaming of things that you really want, if you put in a little bit more effort and time and research into things, right, things can actually happen. Work within your budget and at the end of the day, there's always alternatives. Yeah. Creativity is the ability to work with a budget but make it look expensive. My favourite spot in the house would be the recess area. So we were very fortunate when we got in this place, right? The recess area was actually purchased. So um, we actually changed it to like this very nice, unique, old school kind of house. For me, I would want to say it's a kitchen, but uh, I work in the kitchen for 13 hours a day. So I would say the living room. The living room is the one that uh, I will go home and sit down and rest and play my PlayStation and watch my Netflix and all that. So for now, I would love my, my living room, my couch. More than anything else. Uh, I... Well, you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> this is our HDB home. So what's yours like?